scheduled for one fall. Once again, your referee is Patrick Small. And there you see an extremely popular young athlete here in Gateway Championship Wrestling, Gary J. He is lightning quick, and that quickness most certainly will be tested here tonight at WrestleFest. And there you see the powerhouse from St. Peter's, Trent Stone. A man who, as you can see, is in phenomenal physical condition and is certainly a powerhouse in that ring, but don't make the mistake of thinking that he's strictly a power wrestler. This young man does have basic wrestling ability and is learning all the tricks of the trade. I've even seen him pull a few flying moves out here as of late. So Trent Stone, every week that goes by is becoming a more and more well-rounded athlete here in Gateway Championship Wrestling. And you must think that he's just that one big win away from superstardom here in professional wrestling. This bout should be a test for both men. Trent Stone, the powerhouse that he is, and Gary J, the lightning quick athlete that he is, a definite contrast in styles and we will see how well Gary J can stick and move because that's going to be in my estimation his best opportunity to pull off uh, what you would have to consider an upset here away we go collar and elbow tight in the center of the ring now stone with a go behind as he ducks underneath and now look at that Gary J trying to get out of it, trying to separate the hands. Not able to do so. Certainly the upper body strength advantage would go to Trent Stone, but Gary J is able to duck underneath into a hammerlock. Able to use technique to do that. As he's certainly not going to outpower Stone. And it's a headlock now by Gary J. Switching around. Looking like he's going for a hammerlock. Instead goes for a schoolboy and gets two. That is the quickness that Gary J is going to need to exhibit throughout this match. That is the sticking and moving as he faked the hammerlock and went underneath into a schoolboy. The type of maneuver, it must be said, that you would not think someone of Gary J's experience level would go for. That shows you how quickly he's coming along. Wrist lock now by Gary J, torquing right at the wrist. And continues to crank on the pressure. Stone, though, reverses it into a wrist lock of his own. And now a form right into the tricep area. Inside cradle, count of one, two. And that was a bit of a surprise maneuver from Stone. I don't think that Gary J thought a small package would come out of that. Again, I think he knows he needs to stay away from the slams and the shoulder blocks, the vaunted spear. And I don't think he was looking for a small package. Tremendous game of human chess we have in this bout. And it's Stone going underneath this time, back into a go behind. And now a straight forearm shot. Stone is learning how to switch gears, going from the wrestling to the brawling seamlessly. High in the air goes J Gary J. Vertical soup play. And brother, that connected. Cover, count of one, count of two, and no. Good. 
Stone now with a right hand. Irish whip. Big clothesline misses. Look at that. High in the air goes Gary J. And down he comes. A gorilla press. And nowhere to go but down. Stone with a cover. Count of one, two. Did not hook the leg. A rare mistake from the young man out of St. Peter's, Missouri. Right hand to the face now. Stone continues to pour on the punishment. Boot to the midsection. Irish whip. Over the top goes Gary J. Sunset. Foot count of two. Again, the quickness coming into play. Drop kick right to the jaw. Staggers the big man to the second rope. Flying lariat. He's got him in trouble. Count of one, count of two, and that's all. Gary J using his aerial ability to his advantage right here. Irish whip, no, Stone reverses. Big shoulder block. And brother, that jarred his spine, I can assure you of that. That's the type of maneuver that Gary J has got to stay away from in this match. High in the air now, onto the shoulders. And a power slam. Full force into the canvas. And now it's Gary J that's on the defensive. Look out, here comes Stone. Go! Oh! I thought he was going to go for that spear. J sidestepped him. Hurricane Rana. Well, Gary J had that spear scouted. I got to give him credit. And now what's Gary J going for? Rolls into him and now a double chop. Very unorthodox maneuver. To the second rope. Elbow smash right to the spine. Cover, count of one, count of two and no. And well, Gary J did hook the leg. It's that lack of weight in his upper body that enabled Trent Stone to get a shoulder up. He did not have a lot of weight to secure down on the shoulders. That's something that's going to work to Gary J's disadvantage in this bout. But nonetheless, he's going all the way to the top rope. High in the air goes Gary J. Frog splash! But nobody was home! And now it's Trent Stone in the corner. Stone is setting himself. Spear! And Trent Stone went right through Gary J. Fireman's carry. Stone crush. That's got to do it. Count of one, two, and that's it. Trent Stone with an impressive victory over Gary J at WrestleFest.